Does your dentist say words to you that make you feel weird, scared, and afraid? Well, it's not your dentist's fault because they went to dental school. And in dental school, we are taught to talk really, really weird. You may have a hygienist as well. She's also taught to talk really, really weird. My name is Dr. Paul Goodman, Dr. Nacho, and I am helping dentists and hygienists everywhere not talk weird. So I've come up with five words you should not say in a dental office. Five words that will make your patients feel scared, feel weird, feel afraid, and make you unlikable. So what are these five words? So we're going to go through, don't say this, say this. The first word is fail or failed. There's no reason we have to look at a patient who's had a bridge in place for 20 years and say, Millie, your bridge has failed. It's unlikable, it's mean, and it doesn't even make sense because cars don't last that long. So instead of failed, how about we say this? Hey Millie, it's time to replace your bridge. So don't say fail, say replace. What's next? My personal favorite, the one that makes you feel so weird on the inside when you say it. If a tooth does not have a filling, we are taught to call those teeth virgins. Does that make you feel comfortable to hear the word virgin? Instead of saying virgin, how about saying tooth without a filling. This tooth doesn't have a filling, not that it's a virgin. The third thing is save. We often say to patients, we can't save this tooth. So dramatic, like it's private premolar Ryan and Tom Hanks is coming to save it. So instead of that say, hey, the cavity here has gotten so deep, we cannot maintain this tooth. So to review, don't say fail, say replace. Don't say virgin, say tooth without a filling. Don't say save, say maintain. We have two more. Informed consent, so dramatic. I'm gonna give you an informed consent for a root canal. Now, what could you call an informed consent? A heads up. I'm gonna give you a heads up what can happen. So you can have an informed consent form where it says informed consent, but as you bring it to life for patients, say, I'll give you a heads up. Most of the time things go really, really well, but these are some things you should know about your procedure. I'm gonna give you a heads up, whether it's a root canal, scaling and root planing your crown. And the final one is the P word. Do not say this P word. And that P word is policy. No one likes to hear that word. You don't like it, I don't like it, and our patients don't like it. So you may have a financial policy where everyone pays before treatment. That's cool. But instead of saying policy, why don't you call it protocol? So don't say policy, say protocol. So these are the five words you should not say to be less weird and more likable in the dental office. Don't say fail, say replaced. Don't say virgin, say tooth without a filling. Don't say save, say maintained. Don't say informed consent, say heads up. Don't say policy, say protocol. If I can help you in any way, just reach out to me at dentalnachos.com. It is my life's goal to help you talk less weird. Give me some sort of like either a sign like this and I'll go. We are taught to talk really, really weird. Virgins, virgins, private premolar Ryan. Tom Hanks is coming to save it. Really, really weird.